Dr. Gary Johnson, a clinical audiologist in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona. Our video today is going to be about commonly asked questions that we receive in the clinic. To help me out today, I have my son Axel here with me. Hi, I'm Axel and I'm playing the part of the patient. Gary, what should I expect at my first appointment and what will happen? Well, Axel, at your first appointment, we're going to start by going through any concerns that you may be having and your medical history. After we go through your medical history and any of your concerns, we're then going to look in your ears and make sure that you're not full of earwax. If you are, we're going to remove the earwax and then proceed to testing, where we'll do a tympanogram, acoustic reflexes, your traditional hearing test, push the button when you hear the beep, speech testing, Finally, bone conduction testing. All parts of this test are essential to determining the health of your ear and what possible treatments you may need. Why can't you prescribe me medication? As an audiologist, I'm not able to prescribe medication because it's not within my scope of practice. Most hearing health care providers, audiologists and hearing instrument specialists, do not prescribe medications. However, when your, hearing, when your hearing is tested, if we do see something that may require medical intervention, we're going to refer you to either your primary care doctor or an ENT, otherwise known as otolaryngologist. Gary, how do I keep my ears clean? Axel, after we clean out your ears today, the best way for you to clean your ears going forward is to let a little bit of water go in and out of your ear whenever you take a shower. The only time this doesn't work is if you have a hole in the eardrum. No more Q-tips. Assuming your ears are healthy, a little water in and out of the ear canal will keep your ears clean. And of course, come visit me. Let us take a look in the ears and professionally clean them on a routine basis. How often do I have to get in a box to get my hearing tested? Axel, that's really going to depend. If you have a hearing loss, your hearing should be tested annually or any time you notice a major change. If your hearing's found to be normal at your first appointment, every couple of years, or if you notice a change, or if your loved ones start noticing a change. Gary, Gary can I get my hearing aids the same day I get my hearing tested? Okay. Axel, we might be able to get you the hearing aids the same day you get your hearing tested. That really depends on what you're looking for. For example, if you're looking for a standard color uh, behind the ear hearing aid, it's possible. On the other hand, if you're looking for an in the ear hearing aid, we absolutely can't do that since they're custom made for you. And even with a behind the ear hearing aid, you may need something that we just don't have in stock. So the short answer is maybe. The real answer is it depends on what you're looking for and where you go to get your hearing aids. Well, Axel, I hope that this has been able to answer some of your questions. It really has. Do you feel more comfortable getting ready to go through your first appointment now? Yes, I really do. I hope this information has helped you. As always, hear well, live well, and if this information has been at all helpful, please like and subscribe below.